I've got something pretty cool to share with you guys today. This is a project that culminated in a book by a French photographer by the name of Catherine Ballet, and this is called Looking for the Masters in Ricardo's Golden Shoes. And what this is, it is a uh, project that consists of iconic photographs uh, that were recreated um, by the photographer using her friend as a model, Ricardo, and most of them feature his golden shoes as well. And this is a really interesting project, and really what it does is it's a set of 120 images that span pretty much the history of photography. Uh, everybody from Lewis Hine to August Sander, uh, Edward Curtis is involved, uh, Paul Strand, Gordon Parks, Irving Penn, uh, Richard Avedon, uh, Annie Leibowitz, uh, everybody has pretty much been covered in this book and I find this extremely interesting. This book was sent to me by my friend Thierre who owns a gallery in Paris and Thierre and I met in New York a couple months ago and he actually introduced me to Ralph Gibson who was responsible for this. He sent me this book probably a couple weeks ago and I got it out of the mail, I opened it up, I thought it was pretty cool, I had not heard of the project. And it's one of those things that's been sitting on my desk and every time I pass by I kind of pick it up and look again and I dig a little deeper. And after reading about this project, um, I think what's interesting about this is in many ways, one, it relates to a lot of the things I've been talking about in the last couple videos that I've done this week. And two, uh, I think it acts as somewhat of a linchpin in these terms. So if you consider the role that photography has played, and she talks a lot about this uh, in the uh, written part of this book, if you consider the role that photography has played, uh, especially in the early years, and what it's become today with the proliferation of everybody basically having access to a camera, in essence, everyone is a photographer. Everybody who has a cell phone has a camera on it. And the role that photography plays in our lives has significantly changed as well over the years. And what does that look like today compared to the past? And I wanna read you just a little clip from the, um, from the notes in here, and this is from the photographer herself. And she says, for years, photography has transformed social relations, but today, it is virtual social relations which have changed photography, in other words, the internet. Nowadays, everyone is a photographer and this has altered the way that we think about photography. It is more about the sharing of experience rather than the sharing of an image. I wanted to question how the appropriation of images on the internet and the process of creating self-iconographic representations and experiencing other people's realities has changed the way that we use and respond to photography. And I think that's pretty interesting. Um, the book starts with the famous Cornelius self-portrait from 1839, which is considered by many to be the first selfie. And of course she has her friend Ricardo imposed in this. It's interesting how this project began. And basically she talks about uh, her friend Ricardo and how she had always thought he had this uncanny resemblance to Pablo Picasso. And she'd always wanted to recreate the famous Robert Doineau portrait of Picasso with the bread loaves for hands and one day Ricardo shows up at her house and he's wearing this striped shirt and she said oh my gosh we've got to do it and she gets some croissants and they set up the photo and she just shoots it on her iPad and so this began a series of recreating iconic images using Ricardo and what was interesting is they were just sharing these on Facebook and everything started to take shape and they got more serious about doing these and they kind of went to greater lengths to try to accurately reproduce these and the whole notion of using the internet in kind of this selfie fashion to cre recreate iconic works and bringing into question what will I, what defines an iconic work moving forward because basically as she's saying in the opening of this book our notion of what we use photography for or the role that photography plays in our lives has changed dramatically and I think it's really interesting many of you will remember um, a couple of years ago, there was a similar project um, where John Malkovich kind of did the same thing of a couple images of himself superimposed into famous iconic photographs. And it's interesting because to my knowledge, I don't think either project was aware of the other. Um, but with a similar intent, Malkovich's project had a very different effect, I think, because the fact he's a celebrity, somebody that we recognize in the images, whereas Ricardo is somebody who's a little bit more chameleon-like. And the notes in this book, she talks about when they were reproducing the images, how they really tried to at least psychologically get into the headspace of the models that were posing for the original portraits. And she said it was a really moving experience, particularly kind of this uh, feeling of melancholy, when, especially when they got to the Diane Arbus portrait. Anyway, this is a fabulous book. I think that it has a really interesting conceptual statement that it makes of the role of photography. And it is beautifully done. And I've been talking all about the concept, not about the quality. This book is wonderfully produced. It's got this cool gold siding on it, uh, wonderful cloth bound cover, and the print quality in here is amazing. 
amazing. And it's really impressive, um, not just from a conceptual standpoint, but also when you get into the technicalities of how she did the reproductions. Most of it was reproduced in camera as well as possible, but then she also, and this says something too, used Photoshop and digital techniques to recreate the look of the originals. And not only does she do uh, famous photographs, but she also does, when it comes more into the modern age, she gets into trends. So for instance, levitation photography. I think another one's really interesting in here is uh, Google Map photography, uh, where she's recreated Google Maps with Ricardo and his golden shoes in them as well. Anyway, I will put a link to this in the show notes, and I wanted to share this with you guys. I think this is uh, there's an enormous amount of depth that, for me anyway, has, has revealed itself as I've been spending the last couple of weeks with this book. And I think that it's just a really interesting, like I said, kind of this, this turning point, um, whether or not it's looked at historically that way, uh, we won't know. Um, but I think right now it certainly makes a bold statement as of, to photography and the role photography plays in our lives and a lot of the things I've talked about lately on the show. I will put links to her website as well as where you can get the book in the show description. And special thanks to my friend Thierry for sending this to me. I really appreciate it. This is quite awesome. And uh, that's about all I got for today. If you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to like it, share it, subscribe to The Art of Photography so you'll always be up to date on all the latest videos. Until the next one, I'll see you then. Later.